everybody. This is Cindy Utter. Welcome to my Artsy Endeavors. Have fun. Hey everybody, Cindy Utter. How are we doing? Oh, I'm doing actually pretty well. Um, guess what time it is? It is pick 10 time. Now what I did is I have these dice from Gina. Um, let me put my eyeballs on so I can see what I'm talking about. And each one of these have a um, prompt on them. Use something from recycling, use dimensional paint. I don't know if I have any dimensional paint collage with copies, that kind of stuff. So each one of these, all sides, eh. this has got two doodle a face or add stamps. And um, I gotta glue this because it's coming off and that will drive me nuts. Glue, 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 come on. So I guess I get to pick which one I wanna do on that. But a few of them have a couple on them. Um, but most of them just have one thing. So what we're gonna do on our pick 10 today is I'm just, I'm looking up, I'm not looking in the box. Here's one. Add texture and numbers. So what we're gonna do, well it says add texture, add numbers. So I guess I could do either or, right? Let's get started. All right, let's see what we've got here. This is the next page. So we're gonna either add texture or add numbers. I think I'm going to add texture. So let's take, we're going to take some mini stencils here. Do, 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 do. I like these. Let's use this. This is a uh, stencil from, oh, you can't really see it. See it there? Uh, Gina, Gina actually designed this stencil and you cut it out on your silhouette machine um, or whatever type of cutting machine you have and that's what we're going to use. So let me find my texture. Texture, texture, texture. Let's use, let's use some plain old uh, modeling cream. This is just, uh, what color is it? Doesn't say, pearl. This is just pearl. So we're going to add texture. Let's grab a palette knife. I got one somewhere. And we'll just, let's start with step number one. So here we go. Just going to add some texture. All right, so there we go. We've got our texture down. Okay, that's all I'm going to add at this point for texture. Just going to take a paper towel and just get that off there so that it doesn't dry on. Close this up. Okay. So I'm not like I said. I'm not. I'm not doing a whole lot of texture. I'm. I'm going to see if how minimalist or <coughs> pardon me still getting over this pneumonia um how light we can do it so there's our texture give me a second let me dry it up i'll be right back okay so i threw it back in i'm not looking not looking not looking let's see let's take this one here <coughs> okay this one says use black gesso all right we can do that find we've got some uh, deco art black gesso here that I actually I purchased this when they had like a starter kit oh, maybe we'll use black gesso oh, man, it kills my hands um let's see what are we gonna do with our black gesso let's let's use it through a stencil Let's use these. I'm not sure where we're going with this page. I have no idea how it's going to turn out. I'm just going to have fun. This is the last leftover of my texture paste. I'm just going to put that down here on the page. Just so I'm not throwing it away. There we go. 
Now, we're going to use black gesso. I am going to take this stencil. I'm going to grab a sponge. don't like that sponge. I'm going to grab another sponge. And I'm just going to take off the top here. Black gesso. And now my phone is going to start ping-ponging away. All right, let's see. We're going to add black gesso. Yeah, it's going to ping-pong because I'm on camera. Black Jisoo. I've got my palette over here to the side that I'm just kind of dabbing myself on. Okay. I'm going to put one right here. We're just going to go, let's do this. I'm going to take it, turn it over. Take my brayer and just clean off what was on that side. That's cool. And I want to do this one up here in the corner. Why? I don't know. Because I can. Perfect. And then I'm just going to clean that off. Make sure that there's no more. There we go. All right, so we used black gesso. Let's see what is next. Put that back in here. And I'm writing these down too so that I have a list when I do them. Um, so when I do the video, I can remember what order I did them in. All right, here we go again. Whoops, one went flying. All right, and this one. Washi tape. All right, so we're going to add some washi tape. Let me grab that and I'll be right back. All right, so I picked out a few things of washi tape. This bugs me with some of the washi tapes. Is, um, let's see. Yeah, see this? I, gotta, uh, uh, I don't like it when washi tape does that. I lost my glasses. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. All right, so I found my glasses and I fixed this washi tape. Sometimes what happens is, <coughs> pardon me, it was white. That's the actual adhesive. See it right here? The paper comes off and the adhesive stays on the roll. So you have to be just really careful with these types of rolls that you're getting both the washi tape and the adhesive. So, all right, so we're going to add washi tape. No idea what way this is going. I haven't a clue, but I'm going to play and have fun. Let's see. Don't know why I'm putting them on at an angle, just because I can. Because I want to. Because I want to. My computer's moving files, and my phone was putting stuff to Dropbox and you know I decided I wanted to play so we're playing I want this other one nah okay so we added our washi what's next hopefully I'll actually get a figure to put on here or something I have to draw something okay let's see here we go ha draw dashes and lines So let's see. Dashes and lines. Dashes and lines. All right, I am going to get out my. This is just a big sharpie. I'm gonna start with that. And for some reason, I don't know. It's it's going black and white on this page. So let's see what happens. So I gotta draw dashes and lines. Dashes, and lines. I think I'm going to make these a little bit wider. All right, so I am going to make these a little bit wider. And I 
lines are a little bit wider. This is fun. This is the type of creating I really enjoy because you never know what it's going to turn out like. And I, I love that challenge. I love the challenge of, you know, taking a supply and let's see what we can do with it. <coughs> so there's our dashes and lines. So we got to put that on the list. Number four is draw dashes and lines. Alright, and shake it up. Whoops. Shake it up and pull a box. Draw a face or add stamps. I can hear you guys. Draw a face, draw a face, draw a face. I don't want to draw a face. I don't want to draw a face. Draw a face or add stamps. I'm going to add stamps. Give me a second. Let me look and see what I'm going to add. Pardon me. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I keep coughing, but like I said, I'm still getting over this pneumonia. All right. I'm going to use this stamp, and it's a dilution, as you can see, which is Diane Reevely. Um, I'm going to use this girl only. I'm not going to use this face. I'm going to use this head. So, here's her head. What we're going to do, not going to stamp that. Um, let's see. Do we want to use black? Um, you know what? I like this yellow, but I don't know how well yellow would stand out. Uh, we're going to use black. All right, this is just regular black archival ink. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to stamp above the neck. So I do want to get her shoulders. There we go. So we're going to add a stamp. Do, 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 do. She looks all nice and stamped. Let's put her right here. That's a good spot for her, don't you? I think so. Here she is. Here she is. Oh no! She didn't go all the way. Oh no! Oh, so Cindy's going to try to put her back right exactly where she was. And what I'm going to do is go under the paper with my hand and just redo the stamp. And we got her, but she's got a little bit of a shadow now. That's okay. We're going to work with it. Um, okay, so let me see. This is her. Now I want the head. we got to make sure I get the head all the way. Smaller block. This we gotta make sure we get all really good. Really, really, really good. Spot there. Now when I ink stamps, I try to make sure that they're completely covered so that they look really good. Where's her neck? Her neck is right here. So we're going to go right here. Now, because of what happened the last one, I am going to go up under with my hand. Make sure that the entire stamp makes contact with the paper. And let's see what happens. There she is. In all her glory. All right. So now... What is this? Higgins Black Magic Ink. Hmm, I don't remember this one. Hasn't been used. Let's get. Just gonna take a Sharpie. That one's not big enough. What's this one? That's a big. Alright, and what I wanna do is just kinda. That's not gonna work. I want my Sharpie. Where is it? Oh, let's take a pit pen. That'll work. All right, and I'm just going to make sure that this is all solid here. Just to make sure it's outlined and we know where the black is and we know where her face is, her eyes.
Just a playing, just a playing. And I'm just gonna lightly do her body. So we know where she is. She's so funny, she's got black knees. She's a funny, funny girl. Alright, I'm not going to do too much more because I'm not sure what else I gotta do. So we may come back um, to this and play around a little bit more with the pit pen. Actually, I'm gonna color that all in. I don't like it quite so bright. Um you know, come back and play with her a little bit. But let's see where you know this this adventure takes us first. kind of got her so we can see her at least <coughs> pardon me all right so take the extra ink off this normally I would take it and stamp it on something else like tissue paper or deli paper or whatever but I don't have any of that right here handy so we used a stamp we added stamps all right let's see number six I couldn't find a small thing to put these in Oops, number six. We have, what do we got? Glue something down. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what we're going to glue down. This is, um, we're going to glue this down. Ha <laughs> uh, This is a piece of the, um, book paper. The book <coughs> Pardon me. It comes in a big roll, and then this back side has glue on it, and you can use it for um, spines of your books or that kind of thing. I don't know why. I just grabbed, went over to my basket, grabbed this, and that's what we're gluing down. So we'll glue this down. Yeah. Why not? Heck, I don't know what I'm doing. Now we got to put it this way so we can get this off. There. There's no rhyme or reason to why I'm gluing or how I'm gluing. I'm just picking a spot and gluing. Actually, you know what? I do want something for her. No, it doesn't matter. Picking a spot and gluing. <coughs> Pardon me, I apologize. I'm so sorry that I keep coughing on you guys, but... Well, I'm not coughing on you, but you know what I mean. Um, it's been over a month now, and, uh, oh boy, this ammonia crap. It's still in my lungs. I can still feel it in my lungs. They're still really heavy. Um, but it seems to be slowly getting better. Let's put that right there. So, hopefully it'll just keep getting better. Okay, what's next? So we glued something down. So far I'm liking where this page is going. I'm not sure what it's going to look like in the end, but... All right, did I write that down? No, I didn't. Glue something down. That was number six. On to number seven. Mix them up, mix them up. And roll the die. Add fabric. Huh. Add fabric. I gotta figure out what fabrics I'm gonna add. I'll be back. Alright, so I went and got my little box here of um, fabric scraps. <coughs> and 
I just pulled out this piece of lace. <coughs> Pardon me. And this piece of fabric. And I like this piece of fabric. It's pretty. So what I'm going to do... And I know I probably shouldn't do this with these scissors, but I'm going to anyways. Is... I'm going to cut her skirt. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to make it so this here is her waist. And then we're just going to take it and go around like this. <laughs> Look at her little skirt. And we're going to have to make our little top with this lace. So, cut a piece off. She's so funny. You know what? I am going to glue this piece behind her little skirt. This is just plain old school glue. Actually, I want to use my tacky glue. Where's my tacky glue? Come on. Right here. Plain old Aileen's tacky glue. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue her skirt. I don't think it's the whole way, but that's okay. I just want a little bit of this lace showing. She has little lace on her skirt. Cute! Alright. Little lace on her skirt. Okay, so there's that. I'm not going to glue that down yet. I want to do this little top. So this has got to be tiny, tiny. Because she's a tiny topped tot. So let's cut her off there. Let's cut her here. 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 Hee hee hee. She's funny. Now this is a challenge. This is the kind of challenges I like. Alright, that's going to be her little lace top. So let's put her little lace top down. And again, I'm just using tacky glue. I'm not using anything special. Just a little tacky glue. So here's her lace top. Shoulder's too high, so we gotta cut that off a little bit. Perfect. Here's her lace top, and let's put her skirt on. You know what? Hmm. I know I'm covering up her hand, but that's all right. Her hand's behind her back, right? That works. Um, I am going to put down her skirt. This is fun. Right there. And she has her skirt on. Her skirt and her top. And then I'm going to take, I can't grab my mix. Just put like, she's got a little bit of blue in there somewhere to go with her top or to go with her skirt. Okay. All right, so, <coughs> pardon me, we just added fabric. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> Where this is going? This is just too funny. Shake them up, shake them up, pick one out, and roll it. Paint with a pipette or a stick. Paint with a pipette or a stick. I'm going to paint with a stick. So I have a stick right here. Chopstick. What color are we going to do? I like kind of like how this yellow here is in the background. But then again, I like the blue and the green. I think I'm going to go with yellow. Oh, let me grab a yellow. We're going to do a bright yellow. This is... Um, Master's Touch Acrylic, and it's yellow medium. And I don't know if I'm even going to have to put it on my palette. Oh, probably not. All right. Hey, hey, I'm just going to put that down in the paint. Let's see, we're going to paint with a stick, huh? We're just adding pops of color here and there. Painting with a stick. That's what it says to do. I'm just sticking it in there, getting some paint, and we're painting with a stick. Actually, I kind of like this. Cool. I might have to do this some more on some other pieces. This is fun. Stick goes better like this. Let's get our eyes. Kind of put some around her a little bit. There we go. Okay. I like it. I like it. All right, so we're going to put on here paint with a stick is number eight. And here we go on to number nine. Shake them up. Out. And roll the dice. Scribble with ink. I'll be right back. I gotta grab my ink. All right, so I've got a purple and a blue, which I thought would go kind of well with these. So we're supposed to scribble with our ink. So basically, all I'm gonna do is just make sure the dauber stays wet, and we're gonna scribble, 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 scribble. Scribble with an ink. Come on, scribble. Scribbling away. I have to tell you, I've had a lot of fun making this page. This this page has just been fun. I like it. Scribbling away. Alright, I think that's enough of the blue. Now I'm going to do a little, just a little bit of this purple. And I'm 
want a scribble in her hair. I want her hair to be purple. Why not, right? Scribble. <coughs> Pardon me, scribble a little bit on her dress. There we go. Oh, no, I don't want to put anything on her skirt. Okay. So there we scribbled in ink. Now let's see what our last one is. This is, oops, number 10. I know I don't seem to want to. And here we go. Drag through wet paint. Hmm. First I'm going to dry the ink. I'll be right back. All right, so I dried the ink pretty much. Now, um, I'm not going to be able to, because i got too much crap on my desk right now, just drag this. So what I'm going to do, the paint I was going to choose is a white paint, so I'm just going to use gesso instead. Same thing. Well, I say it's the same thing. It's not, but whatever. Um, and instead of me dragging the book through it, I'm going to drag the paint, the, the paint, the gesso over the page. So hopefully it'll work out pretty much the same. I think it's the basic same idea, so we're just going to drag it. And there we go. We just drug it through some paint, a.k.a. gesso. Now, I kind of like how this page turned out. I think it's kind of cool. Um... Very interesting, very interesting how these 10 prompts came together in this picture. So um, I hope you guys enjoy. As always, share whatever you create. We'd love to see it. Um, have lots of fun, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that video. As always, hit like, share, comment. I'll answer any of the comments that you have or questions. Um, and as always, be kind. Have fun, that's what life's all about. And happy creating, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.